as you watch your breath, you're showing goodwill for yourself, taking care of things inside that need to be taken care of, so that you have the strength you need in order to develop the goodness you want out of this life. Because that's what makes life good, or makes the human world a good place to be, is that we can do a lot of good. But it requires strength. The problem is we have things pulling us off to the side. Sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, telling us that those are the good things in the human life. We have to remember the really good things in the human life are the good things you can do, the noble wealth that you develop inside. And you do that by getting the mind together, concentrating it, giving it strength. The strength comes from your conviction that this will really make a difference. And then you stick with it. And your unwillingness to give up, that's what gives you more and more strength. You're mindful, you're discerning. These things give you strength inside. And they're a form of wealth. We depend so much on outside wealth that many times we forget our inside wealth. But it's the inside wealth that's going to carry us through. There comes a point in life where outside wealth can't help you anymore. The point when your diseases and your aging illness and the approach of death comes. And the doctors have tried their best, and then they get to the point where the doctors can't do anything for you. What do you have then? You have your own inner resources. So make sure that you stockpile a lot of good resources inside. And these five forms of strength are an important resource that you're going to need. Even then, there'll be the, the temptation just to let things go, in the sense of whatever's going to happen is going to happen, and you don't make any, any further effort. But you've got to remember, you've got to keep making the effort all the way up to your last breath. And that's going to require a lot of inner strength. So have that conviction that it really will make a difference. The Buddha himself saw that people could do good in their lifetimes, and then at the very mo last moment develop a wrong view. And the wrong view will get in the way of the good results that those good actions would have otherwise given. So you want to make sure that your persistence stays consistent all the way through. So you give up over little tiny things. There's a little ache here, a little ache there. So can't, oh, can't do that. You're a little bit sleepy here. Can't do it anymore. If you give in to those kinds of things, what's it going to be like when death comes? And the whole body is basically pushing you out. You've got to have a firm resolve. Keep that in mind at all times, and the mind can become focused. And the focused mind will be able to see what needs to be done. That's the strength that you gain inside. So gather up your resources, develop your strengths, because these are things we're all going to need. Think of the Buddha going through the forest that day when he picked up a handful of leaves. He asked the monks, which is greater, the handful of leaves or the leaves in the forest? And he said, of course, there's more leaves in the forest. He says, in the same way, what I've taught you is like this handful. Things I learned in my awakening like the hand, are the leaves in the forest. So everything we've learned from the Buddha is all for us to use. It all serves a purpose. So I don't think that any of his teachings are extraneous or things are superfluous. He taught what's necessary, and these are the necessary skills we're going to need for our true well-being, to make sure that well-being lasts. So gather your strengths, amass your wealth inside, and that way you'll be ready for whatever comes. <laughs>